What is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forster. Welcome back to wow, Little Misfortune. This oh, looks like the creepiest place to ever exist. <laughs> yes, so it does. Scary. I wish I had a ticket to ride, though. Really? But hey, what's that falling just in front of you? Is it a ticket? <gasps> a little ticket for Little Misfortune? Oh, don't play with my feelings. It can't be a ticket. Are you sure? It looks like a ticket to me. It can't be, but I'll check it out. All right, let's check it out. But yeah, welcome back. We're here. If you haven't seen the other episodes, there's two other ones. Go check out the videos before this one. You'll be able to catch all the Is misfortune that that's occurred. <gasps> Creepy. <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> all right, let's grab our little ticket. What? For real? <laughs> Her little face. <laughs> Thank you. Sweet and spooky. Oh, well, well, misfortune. <laughs> Let's Perfect. go find a boat to the fox, remember? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we're, we're going to find uh, Benjamin, our little fox a friend. Ghost. Damn, <laughs> Miss Fortune, please. Mind, mind your, your language. language. But I got scared. It's totally understandable. Totally. That's no excuse. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, we that's can put sparkles that. on this. Welcome to Phantasmagoria. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sparkles! Aw, oh, so cute. So cute. Looks like a creepy clown. A creepy clown? That's creepy. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> and balloons. Oh, balloons. I love balloons. Just so you know that I love balloons. <laughs> she loves balloons, ladies and gentlemen. She loves balloons. Okay, let's keep moving. See what we find here in the Phantasmagoria. Hey, from the other side, Me? Miss Fortune deserves to have a fun time. So try to make the right choices for her, all right? Sure, I'll, I'll do my best, Mr. Voice. I'll do my best. <gasps> hot dogs! Hmm. I can go for a hot dogs. I dog. just have one ticket, so I can just ride one ride. I'm gonna uh, look around first. All right. J just one ride? I want more than just one ride. That's not fair. Hey, you know, once... I saw a documentary on TV about hot dogs. Yes. And now, I don't want to eat hot dogs. Uh, oh my gosh, look at that tall man. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was just trying to pull your leg. If you do it one more time, I'll just shut my eyes tight and see nothing. <laughs> That's the best way to solve scares. It's just close your eyes so you never see them. This looks like Benjamin, but creepier. And angrier. Just like Benjamin. Time to put, throw some sparkles. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, there goes the tall man again. Got a little uh, music venue in the back. The carousel. Okay, I'm going to look around first, but carousel is one option. I like the music over here. It's pretty cool. Mean children at school say that I have a pumpkin head. I can see the resemblance. <laughs> The what? <laughs> you don't have a pumpkin head, Miss Fortune. Don't listen to Mr. Voice. Don't you dare. Ah, oh, the smell of freshly made candy is delightful. Ah, oh, yes. Too bad we can't afford any. There's some candy on the ground. I could use the party hat to make my own mixed candy cone. Come on, Miss Fortune. <laughs> don't even think about it. I'm doing it. <laughs> Are you really gonna eat some of it? Yes, absolutely, yes. Of course, it's free candy. Delicious. <laughs> free candy. Oh, <laughs> gross. <laughs> There's cigarette butts in there and drugs, medicine. Disgusting. <laughs> Why is she, she pukes every single time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's going into a nightmare. A little miss nightmare. <laughs> Was that a bear hand? Oh, mother? Father? Father's a haystack? <laughs> miss Fortune, don't cry. It's okay. This is a, this is a fever dream if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Poor little Miss Fortune. <laughs> What is it, Miss Fortune? I don't know. Are you I gonna think puke again? Candy made me feel bad. 
Well, I told you not to eat it. Yeah, that's true. Silly me. <laughs> Silly me. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Just let it pass. You'll be fine. Coffee candy. <gasps> the little horror house. Ooh. I, I, I really want to go in there. More so than anything, I think. But what's over here? Before we leave, don't you want to use your ticket? Ah, yes. My ticket. Of course. Of course. Yeah, let's go into the... Let's go into the horror house. Horror. The horror. Oh, sweet. That haunted house. Is this the ride you want to spend your ticket on? Yeah, yeah, this one looks cool. Rather than a little carousel. All right, then. Have a pleasant ride. Yes! Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Voice. wonder what kind of uh, horrors we're going to see in, in the horror house. <laughs> Saw blades? <laughs> Cougars? <laughs> Ooh, what's in there? Swamp monster? <laughs> Aliens. She's having the time of her life. She's having the time of her life. Is she gonna puke? <laughs> She's definitely gonna puke. Uh, of course. I don't feel so good. Of course. I feel you think you're going to puke? I don't want to. But the ride went too fast. It was fun. All right, good. Take a deep breath breath and you'll soon feel better <sighs> okay good good now let's oh, not too bad. find that boat the boat <gasps> okay i'm okay she's okay everything's okay let me go back to the carousel i'm curious if i can even interact with it at this point a little long leg man i already used my ticket i can't ride this one Oh, okay. That's fine. It's fine, little misfortune. We can keep on moving, keep on going through all this. Also, I didn't say it on the last video, but uh Peter? Oh! Little ghost boy. He's just gone. I just want to say thank you for everybody for for enjoying this little series. Uh saw a good amount of you were watching the first episode. So I just want to say thanks for all that. Uh a bunch of games here. Can I play one? Oh, of course. You must play one before we leave on the boat. I just love it here, don't you? Who <laughs> doesn't? I want to play a game now. Let's do it. Let's play every game. Uh, <laughs> danger. Now with real bullets. <laughs> this one is free. I want to play it. Oh, please do play it. Play it as much as you want. Really? <laughs> All right. Well, How do you do this? this out now with real bullets. Fancy. <laughs> Fancy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's pretty I, dangerous. I think I broke the game. It looks like it. Oh. <laughs> it's just on fire. Perfect. Well done, Miss Fortune. Well done. I guess it's time to play some Whack a Fox. Check this win out. reward I tickets. I can get a reward ticket if I win. <laughs> I'm gonna play this. Please go ahead. I can't wait to see what it's about. Okay. So how do we do it? Are these tiny oh, foxes look up, like down, right. Benjamin? They're dangerous foxes. Pretend they all stole your eternal happiness and whack them. Whack them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Did I get it? I got two points. Oops. Come on. We got this. Oh, I got a reward. Fox Whacker, achievement unlocked. Yes, I won. Nice. Whacking misfortune. Play again? Yeah, why not? Can I just keep playing over and over again? <laughs> One point. Two points. Three points. Sorry. Four. Oops. Five. Six. Sorry. Seven. Oh, eight. Nine. Hey! Oh, cool! Another reward ticket. Play again? I mean, if I'm keep getting reward tickets, let's keep going. Get them. Get them. Oh, wrong one. I don't think I'm gonna get a reward ticket now. I don't know, though. 
is the most interactive part of the whole game. Another reward ticket? Let's let's just keep going. I don't know how many reward tickets I need, but I'm just gonna keep going. Get him. It's <laughs> perfect. I wonder how many you actually need to get re reward tickets. What? Yeah, why not keep doing it? <laughs> get him. Get him. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no. Still got it. Nice. Okay, we're not gonna play it again. I'm curious what other games are around, because I got five reward tokens now. Don't know what that means for us, but let's just keep seeing. Mr. Voice, can I get a balloon? Because my mommy never gave me oh. one. So maybe you can give me one. Do it, do it, do it. Well, you know we can't afford any, but look, <gasps> oh. it's that. A floating balloon, fun <laughs> food. for me? Yes. Okay, <laughs> thank you. It's for me. Cool, let's take the balloon. Uh, no. Oh, Fortune, I'm sorry about the balloon. Don't worry. Thank you anyway. So sad. My poor balloon. Fortuna. Sweet. A fortune teller. Can I try this? Uh, use reward ticket. Um. Sure. Why not? Fortune, Ramirez, Aranda, and I want to know the future of me. Wait, <laughs> future of me, <laughs> please. Let's see what the future holds. Once you see the beyond, the beyond sees you, and you can be sure it will be coming for you. <gasps> How's scary? The beyond is coming for me. <laughs> <laughs> What's the beyond? Want to try again? Uh, no. We'll we'll leave for now. I want to see what prizes we can get. Check those sweet rewards. A golden chocolate coin, a cool <laughs> tiny hat, and a doll. Oh, sweet. Ooh. Let's see what I can get. Let's do, uh, let's do the doll, because I want to unlock those. Oh, one of those dolls again. I want it. Cool. Here's the new one. Reality will transform into what the child desires the most. Oh, really? Interesting. Desire, okay. I, like <laughs> I do like desires. Nothing. <laughs> Let's grab the ticket or the the golden chocolate coin. The golden chocolate coin looks delicious. I'll take that. And you know I gotta win a couple more tickets for our hat for Mr. Stony. So let's go back. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, let's keep doing whack a fox. Let's play the game. I need at least two tokens. I want to get a couple more just for. Oh. I want a couple more just for uh, the fortune teller. So I'm curious about what's going on with that. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Nice. Let's play it again. <laughs> Do it three more times? I think that should be enough. <laughs> I like how she says whoops while smacking the fox. She cares. She cares a lot about Benjamin. Benjamin. Let's play it again. Come on, come on, let's go. I'm a master at whack a fox. Let's miss that one. Boink. Boink. Okay, and once more, please. Get it. Get it. Get it. Stop saying oops, little misfortune. You don't have to apologize. Check that out. I want all the reward tickets. Oh, that's everything. <laughs> she even unlocked gamer. Okay, cool. Well, that was perfect. Uh, perfect amount. All right, ignore the fortune teller. I want to get an outfit for our little stone friend. 
Two tickets. Please, and thank you. I know who will look amazing in this tiny cool hat. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Stony. You look like a rock star. <laughs> a rock star. Get it? Get it. Achievement unlocked. Rich lady. The rich little lady. Okay, let's use... Wait, no, 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 no. I want to see what else... If there's anything else I can use my reward tickets for. I didn't even check to see if there's anything over here. No. Okay, there's not going to be anything else. Um, at least, it doesn't look like there is. Okay. Let's use a reward ticket again. Let's see what our next fortune again. is. I love the little balloons, what by the way. What you see in the beyond is not what you see, but what you don't see. see. Oh, okay. Really? Really? Isn't that crazy? Want to try it again, then? Yeah, yeah. Once more, please. My last little okay, ticket. Okay, again. <laughs> oh, she wants to know. Oh, never mind. You are being lied to at this very moment. Is that so? Trust me, Mimi. Don't trust anything. Mm. Oh, really? Who is lying to me? Is Benjamin lying to me? It's definitely Mr. Voice. Oh my gosh! Oh no, too bad. Yes, poor little birdie. Poor he was little crow. Back. You know, like my mommy did once and crushed daddy's car. Like this little birdie crushed with its body, you know? Yes, I get it, Miss Fortune. It's still sad. Still sad indeed. Crushed. <laughs> Okay, let's get out of here. We've had enough. Oh, wait, hold on. There, there you go. There you go. A little bit more sparkles. Oh, such a cute little ghost. Okay, let's see what's over here now. Swan Lake? It says you need one golden coin to ride the boat. Huh. Golden coin. Okay. Oh, the chocolate. Ah. <gasps> Death? The Grim Reaper? Hi, sir. Check How are you? Boat out. It's like a black swan. How cool is that? It is pretty cool. Really, it's pretty cool. Really cool. Tell me about it. Anyway, this boat will take you where you need to go. You mean to Benjamin's house? Yes, and it's just one golden coin. Hmm. I got this sweet chocolate coin reward. Is that good? I don't think that would... <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> oh, look at that. Well, are you ready to leave? Yeah, I'm uh ready to leave on the boat. I've done everything here on Phantasmagoria. This is going to be so cool. I hope we don't get attacked by pirates, though. <laughs> what about the pirate birds? Oh, the Kraken. What's a Kraken? The Kraken. Well, if you see it, you know. But tell me, I'm curious now. The we Kraken. Don't have time for that, Miss Fortune. Just forget it. Uh, well, why did you tell me about it then, Mr. Voice? About it forever. <laughs> All right, death. Take me across this river, please. This little lake. Oh, Kraken. If you appear in front of me, I will see you. And if I see you, I will know it is you. Sweet Kraken, come up in front of me right now. Oh, what's a freaking Kraken? Hey. This place is very quiet. Is one allowed to talk? It's pretty anyway, quiet. I was thinking, is the Kraken available for petting? You know, like uh, some pet doggies, some pet kitties. I want to <laughs> pet the Kraken if it's possible. Well, she just wants to pet everything. I you could lure it out with fish. With fish, you say? <gasps> well, no! the only fish I know is buried. Hey, Mr. Rodrigo, are you taking me now to the house of Benjamin? You know, that blue-eyed, soft, fluffy fox who happens to be a great artist and stole my happiness? <laughs> I feel like he's and just going to get sick of us. Talk about it. And why is that you collect coins? That's how you pay for your rent and food, right? Misfortune. <laughs> just leave him alone. No, he wants to hear. Anyway, do you like to eat sushi? I know about sushi because I have a Japanese ghost friend. By the way, can you speak Japanese? I need some translations. Do you know what this means? <laughs> so you don't know, huh? You know, I've never been 
outside this late by myself? Do you go outside by yourself this late every day? Are you going to eat my chocolate coin? <laughs> because I'm a bit hungry. Ah, stop talking! Ah, why should I stop talking? Nobody else is talking. Hey, oh. Mysterious, where are you going? <laughs> He did, he got sick of us. When little ladies ask too many questions, it makes people want to drown themselves. Ah, stop it. I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. Look, we have arrived. Where did we arrive? The fox's location? What even is this? Oh. <gasps> it's all the toys. For all the kids. That were taken. Check that out. It's the toy graveyard, I'm telling you. Whatever you say, Miss Fortune. Man, the voice is really fed up with us, isn't he? What time is it? It's getting really dark. Mr. Voice, are you there? Mr. Hello? Voice. There's something wrong here. Something very wrong. What's wrong, Mr. <laughs> I Voice? I love the snail what just chilling. Mean? It's coming. Hide. Hide. I don't know what you're playing, but if you scare me, I'll close my eyes. Huh. <gasps> Hero! Hero? Come back. <laughs> Hippity hop! What's a hero doing here? My little ghost friend! <laughs> Check this out, Stony. <laughs> this is your family, see? <laughs> From the woods. Say hello. And now, say bye bye, baby Stony, because we're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I love this. Oh, careful, oh, misfortune. My little foot got stuck. Not the little foot. <laughs> C come on, misfortune. What are you doing? It's the monster, Mr. Voice. Can you see? Can you see it? Ah. <gasps> uh... Leave me alone. Okay, I guess that worked. Fortune, slow down. What are you running away from? Is it the fox? No. It's a big monster. Sure it was the fox. No, it's the monster. I saw it again. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. I saw it. Oh. <laughs> don't Hi, Mr. Fox. Any sudden moves. Little Benjamin. Uh, get up. We'll, we'll go ahead and get up. We're not listening to Mr. Voice. Oh. Uh, your boss. So soft. <laughs> Don't touch her with your filthy paws, you beast. Stop it. You're scaring him away. It's got a cool wand thing. No, Benjamin, Hello, come back. Benjamin. His, his sweet little fox paws were so comforting. Guess we gotta go follow him. What are we getting into? Stop and listen to me. There's something I need to tell you. If you keep running, you'll end up badly hurt. And I don't want that. You're hmm. too important. But I want to find Benjamin. He was nice to me. Trust me. He's dangerous. I don't Stop trust you. Running, please. Stop to listen at Mr. Voice. Keep running after Benjamin, obviously. No, no, don't. Oh. What's this? Really? You don't remember me saying if you keep running, you'll end up hurt. Uh -huh. I know I could have been more specific, like there's a bear trap up ahead. Stop or you will be hurt. Yeah, but why didn't I you just... Like getting straight to the point. Okay, okay, thank you. Who left a bear trap here <clears throat> anyway? I haven't seen any bears. Well, I don't want to point any fingers, but it was obviously the fox. I don't think so. I don't like I know you don't like I the fox. What you call foxophobia. Is that true? Yes, <laughs> I swear. Now, let's focus on the eternal happiness. Oh, uh, yes. Almost oh, forgot. All right. Okay, so we got a new stone that I can use. Oh, this makes me think about Bobsy, you know? Did, did I show you Aww. Bobsy the teddy? Yeah. In the secret spot? He will be very sad to know about this, you know? This bear traps. Because he's a teddy bear. He lives in a world of fantasy 
where there are no bear traps. And if no. he will go in the woods, he will see this and not know he's dying. Now I see Babsy being killed by a bear trap. That's how it is now. He's dead. Babsy oh. died. No. What are you talking about? <laughs> about Babsy, don't you listen? <laughs> Let's keep going now, Miss Fortune. Bye, Babsy. Trap dead in the bear trap. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. I need to put some sparkles on it. <laughs> All right, what's up with this strange let's stone? See what this one says. All right, let's toss it in here. And got some new runes. Huh. Two unlocked rune stones. The elimination of Prime will dissolve the filth of the beyond. Oh, Ooh. really interesting. <laughs> the illumination of Prime Eve. It's stuck. Huh. Okay, so we can't do anything else with these stones. So, oh, 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 I didn't even notice that. Let's go and click on it. The games you enjoy, you can have them all. Oh, nice. Interesting. What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all, Mr. Voice. Nothing at all. I wonder if these are going to help so, us in any way. Fortune, I have a couple of questions for you. Are More questions, you okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Wonderful. Now. Just be honest and think about it before answering. First okay. question. Do you believe in magic? She obviously believes in magic. Obviously, she has a ghost friend. Yes, yes, I do. When mommy and daddy scream, I go to my secret hiding spot. And in Aww. my secret spot, they never drink juice and never scream at me. That's magical, don't you think? Oh, oh yes. Yes, it is, my sweet child. Moving on. Second question. Second question, got it. Trust me. No, not at all. Nah, you're just a voice in my head. Mommy talks to herself a lot too. She says it's her inner demons and that the juice keep them away. I'm sorry <laughs> to hear that. Hi, are you my inner demon? Me? A demon? <laughs> no. Nah, <clears throat> you can't be a demon. Not with that silly voice. <laughs> Well, anyway, <laughs> now for the third question. Third Are question. You afraid of dying. Her? I don't know. What, what what do you think what do you think little misfortune would say? I don't think she would understand the concept of dying and therefore would just choose no. No, I'm not afraid of death because all 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 dead people I know never came back from being dead. So it must be pretty cool to be dead. <laughs> well, I guess you'll find out when you die. Excuse me? Looks like there's going to be a storm. Oh no, I hope it doesn't rain that much. I don't like my feet getting wet. I'm a little lady, you know? She's just a little lady. She's just a little lady. Hey, look at that. I think we're here. Benjamin. Benjamin's Stay house? Cool. Fortune. I'm cool. Stay I'm cool. Out here while you go inside and look for clues. I'm sure that Fox has hidden the eternal happiness here. Make sure the cabin is empty, and if you see the fox, run. All right. Hmm. Okay. What are we gonna find here? I wonder. Spooky. Ah, oh, it looks like Benjamin's good at cutting wood. He must be so muscular. <laughs> okay. And anything over here? No. All right, let's go inside. Benjamin. <laughs> You've nothing to be scared about, Miss Fortune. Okay. I will look around. Maybe I can find my eternal happiness. If Benjamin has it, I ask him to share that prize with us and everything will be fine. <laughs> Is okay. this Benjamin's? He got some sweet style. I like it. Very sweet style. Whoa, a video player. Fancy. <laughs> Fancy. In woods. Let's see. Yeah, he had a video camera earlier. Benjamin's on TV. <laughs> <laughs> He's on TV. Setting up traps. Uh, the monster. <gasps> Setting up traps for the monster. Yeah. Oh. I'm Oh man! I didn't want to break the Maybe tape. I can fix it. That'd be nice. <gasps> fix it with glitter. Happiness to the video player! 
<laughs> Happiness to the video player. Respect Benjamin's privacy or read Benjamin's? Oh, we're reading it. We're reading it. I'm just gonna have a little look inside. Just a little look. By Benjamin Johannelius Red Fox. By Benjamin Johannelius Red Fox. I knew his name was Benjamin. How did you know? How did you know? What is this weird rune symbol? So Benjamin is not from open field? I bet he has an accent. I love that in a fox. <laughs> I must make dangerous mission. Mission must be done. Is what I trained to make. Nervous, but is okay. I has study and bigger confidence. I travel from Center City to Pandora when fog appears. I pack things and food. No information on how long stay. I rent cabin until work done. My task important. Boss told me many victims in town. I need courage. After long walk in fog, I arrived city called Open Fields. Tiny town has good forest. Cabin very nice. Has TV. Kitchen. I sleep sofa. Like you said. I decorate cabin. Fish balls smell funny. I uh, ate mushrooms in, for in woods. I refresh after sleep. Try find parasite. Did not find it. Day one fail. Who are the victims? What game? Ben Many is afraid of the parasite. Many victims gone missing in parasite game. I can't help. Feel sad. I send message to boss. Some victims not coming to Center City. I see parasite. It scared me. Also not eat more mushrooms. Stomach ache and much gas is no good. Don't eat this mushroom again. Mushroom serious danger. Not feel good. Danger mushroom. I stay home. Cut wood and do tea and root soup. Good taste. Oh, poor Benji. I do dolls for victim and pictures. If she sees them, good. Parasite recognized. Morgo code P0101222. It likes to play. It has guide for steps. Courage tomorrow. Now rest until stomach good. Feeling no stomach aches, only gas. I go help missing victims in town. Morgo know I'm here. Morgo play old trick many times now, but it makes it make mistake. One victim can hear its voice inside her head. Victim code misfortune is nice code. Morgo can't have her say boss. She must be rescued, but I follow steps. I saw Morgo take shape. Scary. Missing a voice? It's the monster. Yeah, so the, the voice is Morgo. <clears throat> Boss send me message. Watch a victim house. I sleep outside house. Hide in trash. I fail, find parasite. It did not come today. Big trouble. Misfortune watch me. Strange. Big trouble? Misfortune? But that's me. I bet he's in love with me. <laughs> Why she see me? She big eyes. I run away. Felt warm in stomach. Maybe mushrooms tickle again. I see Morgo play old trick again. Victim don't realize all is again. All is again. Must courage and stop parasite this time. I send many victims to Center City. I got level two protector. I confident. Now I has primeve illumination cane. Oh, <gasps> oh, check out Benji's stick. So this is the his little stick. So he's sending the kids to his realm for protection? I try primeval illumination cane in woods. Fun. I feel courage, practicing to help misfortune. I see she makes too much talk. I think she fun and strong. Morgo confused by charms of misfortune. I did video picking wood and parasite came, but I'm courage now. I scared only little. <laughs> talk, talk, talk. Mm, yes, I know how to talk. He loves me. <laughs> he does. He loves us. I message boss. I'm doing it today. All steps followed. Prepared breakfast tea. Funny feeling with tea. Herbs from woods are fun. I'm courage and confident today. I ready. Level two. If Benji has a boss, he has a job. Then I can be married to him. <laughs> He's got his little muscles. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, what am I looking at? So we got some music and the upside of being a spirit animal. The fun stories of a boring man. When hatred wants to be loved, the meaning of love, communication, key to cooperation, learning how to be gray, death after life. It looks like Benjamin likes to educate himself. I like that enough, folks. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, I guess we're keeping the music going. Mm, that 
tea smells like roses and lemon. I bet it's called Benjamin's Blend. Because <laughs> Benjamin's I can blend. almost smell his balls blending the ingredients. Maybe She's completely and utterly in love. Drink Benjamin's tea? Uh, sure, why not? She's in love. She has to try the tea. Mm, it definitely tastes like his fluffy balls. <laughs> mm, delicious. Oh, everything's a little wobbly. Oh, mm, not a... I not again. Weird. Not again. Mm. Oh. Oh. Is it a love tea? <laughs> Look at them go. Look at them go. <laughs> incredible. Absolutely incredible. Such a silly and strange game. <laughs> oh, of course, it always has to go bad. No. Benjamin! Benjamin! No! We're gonna puke again. Oh, which we already did. <laughs> Always puking. She's always puking. Look at that. Benjamin looks so pretty in that hat. <laughs> it's a pretty nice hat. Pretty nice hat, Benjamin. Okay, what else we got around here? <gasps> Benjamin! Benjamin! I'm really sorry I broke your video player, but you stole the eternal happiness. It was promised to me if I beat the game. I really want it back. We can totally share it if you want. Uh oh. Why? I Stop running away from me! Under Benjamin. Don't worry. You can hold my hand if you want to. Oh, what are you? Is this a kiss? <laughs> is this really happening? <laughs> what is that? Your diary. I'm sorry if you're upset because I read it, but I was curious. Is it the Morgo. monster in your diary you're afraid of? I think I saw him too. Okay, interesting. You can't hide the children. Uh oh, there's the voice. Follow Benjamin. Yeah, let's follow Benjamin. Are you rescuing me, Benjamin? Like if I was a girl in trouble? <laughs> yes. Go, follow him. Go, little misfortune, go. We have to run away from Morgo. Of course, we fell down the stairs. Benjamin, where do you go? What's down here? Oh, oh, some hair on the floor. Oh no, is this Benjamin? <laughs> Benjamin. There's a hole behind the painting. Hello? Hello? <laughs> I can't reach it. I'm a little lady, you know. She's just a little lady. Okay, can we grab this? <gasps> uh huh. Such a clever little lady. <laughs> so clever indeed. Perfect. And Time I guess we can climb up. Use my ninja skills. <laughs> Time to be a ninja. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> this is a ninja mission. <laughs> This game is ridiculous. <laughs> so a little it was ninja Benjamin mission. Place in these, but Benjamin seems so nice. Maybe he put them for that monster. It's definitely for the monster. Definitely for the monster. Nothing else. Hmm. Kind of fish balls. This is like sushi balls. No, not the same thing. Not the same thing, little misfortune. Oh wait. Oh, okay. Huh? It's luck. All right, let's keep moving. There's a key up there. Hmm, a picture of a key. Interesting. Picture of a key that also has hinges. Okay, let's go up here. My ninja senses are telling me to climb up on this chair. <laughs> Do it. You got this. Don't fart again. Please don't fart again. Hmm, a real ninja lady always touches everything. <laughs> <laughs> a secret button. Press it. Yes! All right, then. I push the button. 
Should open the big vault door, hopefully. So wait, if Benjamin was in here, why would he lock us out if he's trying to save us? So maybe this is a bad choice to open this up. Yeah, this goes outside. Right? That was easy. Okay, All time right. to go back down. Time to find Bendy. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that was unfortunate. I hope things get better when I get the eternal happiness. She's still so okay, oblivious. Fortune, let's finish this. Get up, Miss <laughs> Fortune. <laughs> Oh, I, I have to keep doing it? <laughs> you are stronger than you think. You've been knocked down before. Why is this like a quick time event kind of thing? Did you let that stop you? Get up, Miss Fortune. You can do it. Because. <laughs> oh my gosh. Because, because you you're a little lady. A little lady Miss Fortune. Perfect. <laughs> Great job, little Miss Fortune. I believed in you the whole time. I believed in you. So now we go back into the woods. Oh, okay. dear. Come out again. Anyone here? Bungie? Mr. Voice? I guess I'm alone. It's just me and little Miss Fortune now. Aww. Uh. A baby deer, so sweet. Touch, pet. Ah. Mm, dream come true. Finally, a nice moment. I'm petting the baby deer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put sparkles on you. Not that it does anything. Oh, Is Benjamin's. That Benjamin's bag. Yeah, Benjamin? it's his bag. Are you around? He must be in trouble. Uh oh. I'm very disappointed in you, Miss Fortune. No, no, no. There you are. Hey, have you seen Benjamin? I think he's in trouble. Didn't you hear what I just said? I'm very disappointed in you. Mr. Voice, please stop playing games. You have lied to me all the time, and that's very sucky. I knew I couldn't trust you. What <laughs> very are you sucky. talking about? I read what Benjamin wrote in his diary. All of it. You're the one taking the children, and children. I, I'm not the hero of this game, right? I guess the eternal happiness was all a lie. Stop this nonsense. We have to keep playing my game. You can't make me. Yes, I can. How? Stop oh. that. Oh my gosh. Come play with me. You need to find your eternal happiness. I'll give you a clue. It's at home, waiting for you. I'm hmm. sick of that eternal happiness. I don't want it anymore. You can't say that. That would break the rules. You heard me. Oh, I we're going to break the rules. I don't want happiness anymore. I won't tolerate this behavior. I'll be waiting for you at home. Now, tell me where Benjamin is. What do you do to him? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Freaking monster. <laughs> Freaking monster. Maybe a clue where to find Benjamin. Let's see. What do we got in the bag? <gasps> the next doll. At the end of hey, the doll road, seven. you will realize you already signed the deal. A deal, you say? Interesting. At the end of the road. <gasps> Little Benjamin. Is that Benjamin as a baby. <laughs> so cute. That is very cute. And what do we have here? Oh, this is really mysterious. For students of the University of Center Sadist Technology, protect course, three-step guide. Three-step guide to exterminate parasitic beings from the beyond. Introduction, as the ultra reality forms in hand with the concept of time, new realms outside the constructed free, five realms of essential existence, have appeared. After the ultra war, thousands of beings were discovered as byproducts of the war. They created for themselves a new realm. We, for, we refer to it as the beyond. The beyond is, in simple terms, a place of extreme absurdity with no logical laws of physics. We can't allow such beings inside the free at the moment, since the foundation of our reality is based in the energetic and ethical values of the ultra-reality, before the ultra-war. 
The beyond is still a misunderstood realm. We haven't yet found the pieces to connect with it in a logical manner. The few patterns we recognize are the behaviors of some visitors, also known as parasites. They normal normally enter the third reality, aka Pandora, which is where we're at, and seek fresh meat to lure into the beyond. And that's why we need the protectors. The protectors are the only ones with the capability of seeing the imbalance between realities. And using the tools available inside the ultra reality, protectors will help victims and guide them into uh, center city. The guidance provided in this book must be followed with great responsibility. Never skip a step. For each victim, the protector returns to center city. The protector will be rewarded with new levels, tools, and more steps to follow. Step one, the protector must locate the victims and the parasite. Protector's parasite case, Morgo, evaluate if the victim is in need of assistance. If so, then proceed to step two, need of assistance checklist. The victim seems to have forgotten his or her identity. The victim is already dead, but doesn't realize it. The victim believes the illusions of the beyond are real. The victim sympathizes with the parasite. The parasite. So, I feel like we already have number three, if not, we're not sympathizing, but I think number three, because we are seeing illusions like ghosts and things like that. Checklist of Parasite, Morgo, deforms reality into absurdity. Parasite seems friendly, yet it lures the victims to play dangerous games. It shape shifts into a human animal creature. It quickly learns about the environment. Language and culture are not an issue for this parasite. Large flocks of black birds will appear near the parasite. These birds are the eyes of Morgo, giving him an overview of his playing ground. Oh. Step two, use the surroundings to help the victim become aware of the parasite. The protector can, for example, write and paint simple messages in public spaces to increase awareness. It is strictly forbidden to interact directly with the victim. It could lead to irreversible trauma inside the victim's mind. If the parasite kills the victim, you will need to proceed to step three immediately. Blinked. I like to blink. So that's why he's not uh, actually like interacting with us. Step three, prepare for direct contact with. With the what? Now I will never know. Ah, okay, interesting. So that's everything here. Let's throw some glitter on it. <laughs> A little band-aid, perfect. <laughs> little misfortune go. Very interesting. <laughs> Different realms of reality, the ultra war. What's going on? Oh, is Benjamin here? He is. Oh, Benjamin, why didn't you wait for me? Or what? What? How do we miss Benjamin? All right, I guess I'll take the train back home. No, little lady, don't do that. We need to stay here. We need to wait for Benjamin. Aware. Anything over here? No. Hmm. Now when I look at this. I can see what Benjamin tried to warn me about. He about the knew voice. All along. Such a foxy boy. <laughs> Such a foxy boy. Okay, let's take the uh, take a seat here. Wait for the train, I guess. Okay, I'll wait here. <laughs> Sounds good, little waiting, lady. Waiting, waiting for a little while. <laughs> Sing okay. your little song. I'm gonna talk to myself. <laughs> Go for it. Oh! <laughs> so, Miss Fortune, how have you been? Okay, I have this, like, weird thing. I saw monsters, I saw dolls, I saw Benjamin. And Benjamin? And then I went to the zoo and everything was everywhere. And then I realized Mr. Voice had lied to me a lot. And he took Benjamin. And now I'm alone. I don't like oh. being alone. Wow. Sounds like you had one hell of a day, Miss Fortune. I wonder if we're already dead based the on that note. Here. It was a nice chat, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Talk to you later. You go. Maybe that's go. why. Our... <laughs> Maybe that's why our mom didn't acknowledge us. We, and you know what? We we haven't actually interacted with any people, and we're seeing ghosts. There's Hiro, so maybe maybe we are dead. Chunkingosaurus. <laughs> oh, it's time to color. <laughs> I love coloring in my little coloring book. Oh yeah, give him those red nails. Got a purple little beak. Oh, so cute. 
Such a cute little dino. These beautiful white clouds up here. <laughs> okay, so we seem to paint within the lines without any problem. Or not paint, draw. Color, color in the lines, that's the word I'm looking for. Come on, little dino, you got this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Y'all, you look great, you look great, little dino. All right, on to the next one. Styracosaurus. Ooh, ooh, I like the color choices here. It's eating a tasty little flower. Gotta fill this bad boy in. Gotta fill in this little dino. <laughs> Actually, let's get the clouds first. Clouds, the trees, little palm trees. Oh, this is so relaxing, this is so nice. I, I know games like this exist, so, but I was about to say, <clears throat> excuse me, I was about to say they should just have a, a coloring book game. <laughs> just for people that want to color things in, just do it digitally. I bet a lot of those, uh, if there are a lot of them online, I bet a lot of those games make, or have a lot of downloads and make a lot of money off of that. So it's, a, it's a nice, relaxing thing that people just enjoy. Kind of reliving childhood as well. Ah, so beautiful. Cryolophosaurus. It's got a little, <laughs> it's got a little butterfly on its nose. These happy dinos. All colored in. All colored in. Come on, Dino. Oh, she want to lock painter. I guess I'm done. Uh, I don't feel inspired. <laughs> oh. Uh, Sorry, little misfortune. Oh. Hello, Hiro. Hiro. I didn't recognize you. Hm. Such a coincidence that you're on the same train as me. Why does he wear an alien you know? mask? I had a big fight with the silly voice in my head. But I don't think it's a voice anymore. I'm sure it's the monster. I saw it in a book at Benjamin's place. Really creepy. Hmm. Have you ever heard voices in your head? I know Be he aware of the consequences. Help Hiro? Or cover my eyes? I wanna help him! Oh, be aware of the consequences? Um I wanna help him, I wanna help him. Hiro, pull my hand! Uh, 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 Hiro. Aww. You see the other like people in the background too? There's one to the right and left of the screen. They have like bags, like weird faces over their heads. Hero, no. Oh, so sad. Our friend is gone. I hmm. hope I get to see Hero again. I wonder what that monster did to him. Oh, now I have to walk all the way back home alone. This is the last time I follow a voice in my head. <laughs> if Benjamin was here, he would walk with me. No. Oh. Oh. Okay. Anything over here, first of all? Oh, we can walk really far over here. Okay, but there's nothing for us. Uh, darn. <laughs> run, little misfortune, run! Okay, can I keep kicking this thing? Oh. Benjamin was warning me all the time, but I couldn't see it. I she didn't understand. I wanted happiness so bad. I'm a silly little lady. That's what I am. <laughs> Just a silly little lady. At least I had fun at Phantasmagoria. <laughs> I'm gonna tell mommy about it. It's the unicycle. Ugh. Another canned kick. <laughs> I'm gonna just keep Ugh. kicking it. It's <laughs> even a lot can kicker. <laughs> okay, I think we're done. Hello, kids. What's up, cool kids? I'm a cool kid too. Excuse me. I'm talking over here. Yeah, we're well, dead. If that's how you treat little ladies, then give yourself a fuck. 
<laughs> Misfortune. <laughs> Language. <laughs> huh. Yeah, because they didn't they didn't resp like respond to us at all. Alright, let's get across. Well there's uh Morgo's eyes. So they know we're here. Where's the car? Is that it, Goma Gum? And that is a lot of crows way up here in the sky. Uh oh. I don't think this is gonna be a we good time. I like them. Perfect. What is Mommy, happening? I'm back. Hello. What happened to our house? This doesn't look right. What's that sound? Bangy? I guess we're gonna go. I don't want to go, but I guess we're going back. Hello, mommy, <clears throat> Bangy. What happened here? Uh oh. Congratulations. Oh no. The end of my game. Leave me alone. I'm looking for mommy and Benjamin. There's no eternal happiness for you. I don't even care anymore. Of course you care. You know your mommy needs it. It's your responsibility. Yes, I mm. guess you're right. Good, good. Ready for a new game? If I play new game plus? Will you give me back Benjamin? I guess I will, but only if you truly commit to the game. Okay. Splendid. You <laughs> will love my new game. Interesting. Oh, we're just back here. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you. Wait a minute. Didn't I do this already? What? No, you're not doing this correctly. Then you say something about me dying today, which is totally not true, by the way. <laughs> Wait, stop talking, please. Are no. we going to play another game, or is this like what? I don't understand. If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. And then you say deal, and I say yes. Stop ruining this. Uh, eternal happiness? No deal. <laughs> Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to... Wait. What? No deal. No. No, <laughs> no deal. Uh, how about this? What if the fox was waiting for you in the hallway? If the game is about Benjamin and you leaving me alone, I'll play along. Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. I promise. I don't trust you still. The way. I still don't trust you very much. Can I still look around, dance, do the regular things? Huh, is this a new dance song? Uh, uh. <laughs> I don't like this Can song Mr. anymore. Scares me again? I'm gonna run and hide in here. Ah, okay. That's good to know. I have a little hunch that Mr. Voice is the monster in my closet. Probably. Okay. I'm just gonna play his game one last time. <laughs> Once more. Okay, we're not gonna run this time. Double click to run. No thanks. No! Oh, it made me do it. Uh, it made me do it. Grab it. Grab it. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. Not again. You promised he wouldn't be like last time. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Ma, you lied to me. I don't want to play this game anymore. Fine. Let me come up with a new game to play. New game. Knock, knock. Who's there? No, I don't want to play with you anymore. Hmm. Knock, knock. Who's there? Uh. You're scaring me, stupid. Leave me alone. Knock, knock. Okay, let's leave. Let's go to our hiding spot. I think, I think that would be best. What happened here? Yeah, all my stuff is gone. He won't find me in there. Creepy. Okay, come on, come on, come on. 
Pokemon voice. Open Stony. the door. Stony. Right now, Miss Fortune, we have a new game to play. No, thank you. No, I told you already. I don't want to play with you anymore. Oh, Stony, teach me how to be brave. <laughs> so now we're playing hide and seek. I love that game. No, 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 no games. All right. Just so you know, my game is the only thing keeping you alive. Is that one more of your lies? I will live forever with Benjamin, and there's nothing you can do about it. Will you please stop talking about that fox? He's been trying to take you away from me all the time, and his ugly paintings. Ugh. Oh no, you don't talk like that about my Benjamin. You know what? I'm done with you. I want you to leave. Right now. You don't have a clue about what's going on. This is not the last game you play with me, Miss Fortune. This is only the beginning. Oh, creepy. Very creepy. You silly little child. Jeez. Another toy for my collection. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that guy. You're mine to play with for eternity. I'm sick of you being a bully. <laughs> you see, Benjamin will come back and save me. No, we made a deal. You crossed the path, and now you're mine. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. <gasps> Benjamin! I wonder if he'll Benjamin. actually save me. <laughs> Hello. How did you get here? There's nothing. To oh yeah. Do. Oh yeah. She belongs to me. <laughs> this, is, this is very wild. No. it <laughs> did Benjamin really save us in the end oh beware monsters are we back to normal <laughs> get the cows cows gonna poop on the other cows again <laughs> of course we're face down so you're gonna be vomit on the floor too <gasps> another hay is Little hay everything thing. back to normal now Benjamin saved me Benji, are you mm. around? Benji? <laughs> huh. I guess I have to reveal this. I'll make some improvements. But first, I want to find Benjamin. Gotta make it a little bit stronger. Benjamin, did you go outside? Hmm. Doll Good 8. is coming. Open your eyes. He's the voice in your head. Driving you mad. Well, now I know what to call Mr. Voice. More go. <clears throat> so there's only one little paper doll there now. Benjamin, hmm. where are you? Benjamin. Oh, Benjamin. Oh, look, it's all repaired. Nothing bad happened. Nothing bad at all. Mom! Mother! Still have our soup over here. Still got the Siggies on the table. One over here. October 11th. I don't remember what day we started. Mommy? Is her mom out here? What's going on? What is that? What is happening here in the end? Oh. Mommy! I'm back. Don't ignore me. Are you angry because I couldn't get the happiness for you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's happening? Yeah, you we're already dead. Oh. <laughs> this must be a bad dream. 
Oh, poor little misfortune. <gasps> no! She died on the street before she even left? Is that... <sighs> what? <laughs> the glitter! Oh. There's the fox. Oh, Bengi, you're back. I thought I lost you too. Oh. What's this? What what's happening? We need to go. All right. Oh, so sad. Bengi, wait. Are you taking me somewhere else? Because I have nothing against it, but I have to talk with my mommy first. Mommy, I'm going to go somewhere else. With Bengi, okay? He's the fox that I like. <laughs> I'm a little lady, you know? That's what I am. <laughs> I'm a little because lady, you know. Your little misfortune for a while, but you need to find your own happiness now. Mm. I love you forever. Ah. No one told me this game was gonna be so sad. So basically, the, the whole game was. A fight for her soul. And the parasite was trying to take her somewhere else. And the fox is trying to return her to wherever this dimension is. Hmm. Poor little misfortune. Wait, stop, Benjamin. Where are we going? Benji? Yeah, what's going on? Benjamin. What is happening? I th that, that, that could have been the end of the game. What's. <gasps> oh, puppy! <laughs> puppy. So happy to see you again. Wait, oh. Puppy? puppy, no! <laughs> This little party hat. This little puppy party hat. Oh! Those are the guys at the original gravestone. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. Oh. <laughs> A little worm, Grim Reaper. This, this is very bizarre. Oh. <laughs> Look at these little guys. <laughs> okay. Why is the music so so tense? What is happening? What is going to happen? Oh yeah, there's the tree with the faces. So we saw that at the very beginning as well. The opening sequence. Oh! Hello! Strange. <laughs> Love the little puppy. Uh, my eyes. My eyes. We're moving into the beyond. No, I don't know. Oh, this place is really cold. Okay, let's keep moving. Oh. Oh. Little puppy. Little puppy. Oh, must love the little puppy. Oh, I finally get to pet the puppy. <laughs> Throw some glitter too. Come on, let's just keep petting the puppy for eternity. Puppy forever. <laughs> we don't want yikes forever. We want puppy forever. All right, all right, let's go ring the bell. Oh. Oh, these are all the things I threw glitter on. Oh, please tell me I have enough. I did. Jim and Lock, sparkling lady. 
Oh. Oh, cool. Wait, if I didn't get this, would the game have ended differently? All around the thrusters seem to disappear. Deep inside the fog, you defeat him. Hmm. Very interesting. Uh, I guess Mr. Voice game is over now. Benji? Oh, Benji. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh. Who are you? I'm a little lady. Misfortune. <laughs> That's who I am. I'm a little lady. Misfortune? Yes, you could say that. Good. Step inside. We were expecting you. Hmm. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Oh, I'm glad I had enough sparkles. To complete all that, because that was an optional thing. What is this place? I don't know. Oh? What is happening? Collecting all the sparkles? Is this going back to our mom? Is this the eternal happiness for our mom? It is, isn't it? Is it her? Just watch, we'll just watch. Aww. She even unlocked eternal happiness! Oh, She did. She finally got her the eternal happiness. Oh, That was very sweet. I'm assuming ending. She even unlocked somewhere else. Yeah, there it is. Oh. Yeah, that was a very, very sweet little ending to the game. Very sad. <laughs> Misfortune, Ramirez, Hernandez. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was great. Oh man, I I'm, I'm curious. Uh, so there's multiple endings to this then, or I guess different, different possible outcomes to the kind of the final portion there with your with your mom and the eternal happiness so if you didn't throw sparkles on it on everything does that mean you just won't ever get the chance to give your mom that eternal happiness i don't know <laughs> yikes forever <laughs> the voice acting in this game was spectacular very silly the you really got a sense of just childish just innocence with the character and the way it was written and the way it was performed as well. It's very, very good. Very, very good. <laughs> yeah, I was really curious, like, where the game was going with all of this. And it wasn't until I read, obviously, what was in um, Benjamin's backpack saying that, like, the things that you can do to try to help these people, one of them being that they don't know that they've died or they've already died. I was like, oh shoot, does that mean Little Misfortune is already dead? But I'm glad that you don't really necessarily get that or understand it until really the very end or the, the big reveal that the whole game was just our, our essence, our spirit wandering throughout this world after we immediately tried crossing the street. And I think even in my first video, like I made a joke about like, oh no, don't get hit by a car to, I think something that, it was the cat, it was the little cat that ran across the street. It's like, oh, don't get hit by a car, that'd be awful. It turns out we actually got hit by a car while trying to cross the street. And everything else was just a, uh, a, 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 just 
us walking through as the, the spirit of misfortune. So I'm curious though, the, the parasite, Margo, Margo, whatever, however you want to pronounce it, does he lure the children then to their deaths as this game? And that's how it takes their, their soul or their spirit? afterwards by like leading it further along i don't know i don't i don't actually know or i wonder if by leading the children to their deaths that's really their main goal because obviously morgo was trying to take her in the very end but uh we were saved by benjamin but uh but yeah as you go through it seems like the malevolent nature of of the parasite of Morgo is to to take these children and to have them walk to their death in some way or go to their their demise. But it's cool. That, that was a very interesting story. <laughs> Music forever. <laughs> okay, let's see if there's anything post credits. I doubt it. No, that's it. Very cool. Extras? Dolls? So I got all the dolls. There are nine in total. So everything begins with the song of a jackdaw. When the trees are naked, when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smashes against the stone. When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. When broken hearts are chosen to receive the gift from the beyond, reality will transform into what the child desires the most. The games you enjoy, you can have them all. At the end of the road, you'll realize you already signed the deal. Morgo is coming. Open your eyes. He's the voice in your head driving you mad. All around, disasters seem to disappear. Deep inside the fog, you defeat him. Yeah, so everything begins with the song of a jackdaw. When the trees are naked, when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smashes against the stone. So let's talk about fall. Um, apples are falling from the tree. It's hitting the ground. They're kind of rotting. Um, when unloved children in darkness search for what they've lost, why they're in pain. So... Maybe Morgo targets children that are um, in these very unfortunate situations, whether they have terrible parents, terrible lives, whatever that kind of manifests as. And the children naturally want to try to figure out why they're in pain and yearn and search for something better. When broken hearts are chosen, receive the gift from beyond. So that's why maybe she could see her friend Hero. Um and receive the gift from beyond prior to to actually interacting with Morgo. Reality will transform into what the child desires most. I'm not too sure what that is supposed to mean because I think in the areas where we're walking as a spirit uh, throughout the whole game, we we're seeing things as they were in a sense. The games you enjoy, you can have them all. At the end of the road, you'll realize you've already signed a deal. The deal is that we've already died. Morgo's coming, open your eyes, and yeah, the rest is just a warning. Very cool. Very cool. There's the whole art gallery. <laughs> all the things that we have here. All the locations that we visited. A little wolfy. I like that they're animated too. It's really cool. The Phantasmagoria. This is being chased. <laughs> the Northern Lights. Inside the fox's cabin. Petting a deer. Such a good memory. Walking through the beyond. And back in open fields. Cool. But yeah, that was a little misfortune. I had a blast with that. Uh, very, I, I think they did a great job with the comedic aspects of this as well. Having it be beautiful in terms of its art direction. Um, I love the stylization that they used for this whole game. I'm giving a review like this game just came out. This game's been around for a while. I know a lot of people love it, but um, yeah, I, I, I loved so many aspects of this game. Art direction, the wonderful story, the twists, the turns, created an emotional response with the mother and seeing yourself on the pavement at the end there, moving into the beyond. Very glad I got all of the sparkles throughout the game. I was worried um, as we were kind of lighting up the tree that maybe I missed one or two, but I'm really glad that I didn't. I was very, um, I guess, present of every little sparkle location to throw my glitter, and that was great. And yeah, it's just just a great game to check out. So thank you for those of you who recommended I play this game. Uh, I've been aware of it for a while. I just never got a chance to check it out for myself. But I hope you all enjoyed this one. So if you did, 
Make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Love to hear any thoughts and feelings about this. And if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification that we know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos. And if you'd like to see any more content from me, you're welcome to follow me on any of my other socials like my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. I've got a Discord channel and a bunch of other cool things always listed in the description down below. But of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Later. <laughs>